This is Thursday's day on the narrow boat. We have a distraught Joe at the moment. Uh, he is one years old, and uh, we we the saga continues. So we had the engineer in last night, and he fixed the heating. It was a long-winded um, thing but it didn't, still didn't work. In fact, yesterday we had him, do you know, I can't keep up with how many times, yesterday afternoon the engineer came, fixed it, then it went off and it didn't work. The engineer came in the evening and we decided there was no way we could fix it, we need to get a part. So we need to get up the river this morning, the canal, beg your pardon, this morning so that we can get to a better access point so they can fix the heating. I don't care about the heating, I'm not really bothered, but we have a one-year-old on board. Oh, and we're coming up to a lock, so I'm gonna have to go and do my thing. Welcome to Lock 51, where the little Joe and I are opening up the locks as we head back up towards a point where we can get our heating fixed yet again. In the distance there, the lovely Julia is on the boat. Meantime, we've got quite a lot of locks to go through, so I'm not quite sure how much filming we're gonna get done. Lovely Julia at the helm, top professional, getting us through the locks. We're going through seven now. We've done five. No, we've done, yeah, no, there must be eight locks. I don't know how many, but we've got another three. And we seem to have done, well, maybe we did four. I think we've done 10 million. Yes, it seems <laughs> like it. The boat is very big. We've made, made that obvious before. Um, my, my pride has taken a hammer in. And with one eye, you might be wondering why I'm not doing any driving with, and especially through the locks. With one eye, my depth perception isn't as brilliant, and on a boat this long, I, I daren't. So uh, Julia is assigned to Chief's Helm's lady. We just had to stop. We're taking on a little bit more water because um, we've got a bit of a trek ahead of us. Yeah, we're sinking again. But um, we just uh, rang up the engineer to sort of tell us, to give him our progress. And uh, he said, uh, oh, your troubles with the heating. He says, uh, just to let you know that Rob, who was our chat before, and another guy racing down from the base here at Stratford-upon-Avon, down towards the Thames at Oxford, to uh, rescue a boat that in the flood has inadvertently gone out into a field. And now, as the water has gone down in the field, it's beginning to rest on its side. If the water level drops any further, it'll tip over. Yeah, it's gonna be a crane to remove that when it's dry. So that gave us a good giggle. Um, so we don't feel so bad, do we? No. <laughs> Bit of a horror story there. Bit of a horror story, anyway. I think the water's done, so we're going to press on. We've got all the locks that we did the other day. We're going to meet the engineer and he's going to get our heating fixed once and for all. We're on the up. We are. Can only be. <laughs> We've moored up after, what, three consecutive locks, the same locks that we did before. Um, little Joseph, who was asleep whilst we did these locks, um, had just woken up so we thought I tell you what let's feed him and then sort ourselves out before we do the next five 
Um, and I just wanted to come up to the locks here to see what number it is. Ah, oh, number 48. Lock 48 of a, a string of three. We had a, a lovely volunteer actually to come and assist us, which was lovely. Um, and he opened up the locks. He's now gone on up to the five to help us. But I need to just tell the engineer where we are so he can gauge roughly what time to meet us. Everything's so much slower. We had to wait for another boat to go through. So that put us back about half an hour. We made a cup of tea, which is lovely. Um, it's all good fun, actually. <laughs> I think from the viewer's point of view, because they keep hearing about the issues that we've had, they think, oh, what a nightmare. But I think it's interesting to learn all of these things. If it just went through without a hitch, you're not really getting the true story. We're, we're still enjoying it. We're just pootling along now. And uh, I mean, the scenery on this stretch hasn't been the greatest. When you watch other people's um, videos and you see the amazing scenery that other folk have, you think, oh, we did think that we might go for long walks and that sort of thing, but actually we just, enjoying being on the boat so that's really good what did I say it was 48 so for us I think the advantage is learning all the little mishaps and things that can go wrong so that if and when we ever do if I manage to earn enough money to buy one we will know a little bit in advance the things the pitfalls certainly not put us off Just had lunch and a nice uh, sandwich, a cup of tea. Fed young Joe, who's getting his buoyancy aid on. So just in case, got to be safe. And we've got uh, five locks to go through now, but fortunately there are more of the volunteers on board. So that's been very handy. Hey. Bit easier with the uh, volunteers, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, goodness with the volunteers, eh? Yeah. Going up's not quite as easy as going down. Such a big boat. We just have to be careful of the sill again. We've got more to do now, Joe. We have one more to go. Oh, your mum's doing very well, isn't she? All that boat manoeuvring, getting it in the lock. 
I'm doing well carrying you. That's those locks done and dusted, thanks to the volunteers, otherwise it would have taken us a lot longer and I'd have been absolutely exhausted. Joe's been very helpful. Well, he's been okay actually. We've got uh, one more to go and then I think there's one or two and then that's the end of this particular flight. Um, and then hopefully we'll get up to bridge 59. And that's when we're going to meet the engineer, get the heating finally sorted. By which time it'll be time to take the boat back, won't it? Hmm. It's been a bit of a difficult day today, a bit stressful at times to um, get the boat up to bridge 59 where hopefully at some point this evening, it's now just about half past four, uh, we're going to meet up with the engineer Pete um, again and have the replacement whatever it is that sorts out the heating unit. Um, it's not been easy. Have to confess, it's not been easy with um, the little one all the time. He's been great most of the time. We knew it was going to be tricky. Um, he's not going to be one forever. So another time he'll be older and he'll understand instructions a bit better. We were very lucky having those volunteers on the way back. Um, who got us through, I don't know how many there are, seven or eight, um, we didn't count them in the end, they just seemed to be interminable number of locks, one after the other, one after the other. Um, but luckily, we had nobody behind us and nobody else through. We've, we've basically had this stretch to ourselves, which has been good. The boat um, is it's just an old bus, it really is. It's, it's just an old bus, it's hard to manipulate. The uh, bridges, as you've seen, are incredibly narrow and trying to straighten up this thing is, I mean, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it with the depth perception that I have with just one eye. There's no way I can do it. Julia did an amazing job. Absolutely 100% praiseworthy effort there. The weather has been what the weather is in October. It's not been bad really today. It's not too much wind, not too much rain. Little bits, but nothing awkward, nothing terrible. Um, I actually quite like it, this sort of temperature, personally, for manoeuvring the locks and, and all of that running around, because you, you don't get a chance to get cold, that's for sure. Um, and it's autumn. We've got the autumn colours, and they're just lovely. And uh, this jumper that I've got, which was knitted by Fiona Hammond, one of my viewers. Thank you so much, Fiona. I need to, <coughs> I need to order some more from you. I'd willingly pay you to make some. It's just so comfortable and so warm. It being wool, a traditional natural fibre. Um, I just love it. So that's kind of it, really, on this this journey. Beautiful colours. Going to make um, a cup of tea and just relax and chill now. And uh, what's tomorrow? Friday. Well, let's just see if we get some heating today.
tonight. That would be just a big reward. <laughs> it was a bit wibbly wobbly going across there. Oh, so lovely. Gorgeous. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Why are you down there? Whoa, careful. Careful, Joe. I see. You're down there to protect the baby, right? Yes. I knew mine that was your did this time. Thank you.